What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 9.3 Beta 7 is here. So I didn't make a Beta 6 video. I got so many comments, so many people telling me that Beta 6 is out, and you know, I knew that, but there wasn't anything different. iOS 9.3 Beta 7 doesn't offer anything new, but here's my update video for you guys regardless. I'm gonna talk a little bit about performance, about some bugs and fixes it may or may not have fixed, and just in general, give you a little update on what's going on. So iOS 9.3 Beta 7 is quite a record breaker. We haven't seen a seventh beta since iOS 7.0. However, it's not the most betas we've ever seen. We've seen up to eight betas on iOS 2.0 and iOS 5.0. So this one still has one more to beat. And I think we might have maybe a little bit of room to get another beta in, but it's unlikely we'll see another one. I don't know. This is kind of crazy that we've seen this many, but it's a good thing. Apple is ironing out all the bugs. They've pushed out all the features there are in iOS 9.3 all the new cool stuff. There's over 40 new features. Now it's time to iron out the bugs, make sure it's running smoothly. And you know, you can tell Apple's invested heavily in this new firmware. They wanna make sure it releases, you know, exactly as planned with the new iPhone SE, the new iPads, and they're making sure they've got a good foundation to release on. So iOS 9.3 in general is a fantastic upgrade. You know, if we do get a jailbreak, I want it to be on this firmware. It would suck to be a 9.2, 9.2.1, and not be able to go here. So observations, you know, my observations are on iOS 9.3, it's generally so much smoother, even in areas that it doesn't necessarily need to be, like the iPhone 6S. The 6S is fast enough, but Apple's worked on the animations a lot. They're very, very smooth, silky now, especially on older phones. I will be doing a full speed comparison on the 4S5, you know, older phones, so you can tell, but the 5, 5S is the area you'll notice the most improvement on updating to iOS 9.3. So I'm excited for you guys to try that out personally. Now, Beta 7 is pretty much GM, you know, pre-GM, they were almost there. This thing has all the features running, it's very smooth, and how's the speed? So I actually have a Geekbench before and after on the last beta. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this is iOS 9.3 beta 7, and this is beta 6. So definitely an improvement, a noticeable one here too. And Geekbench isn't a very good indicator of you know small little speed differences, but there is one here. And just for a point of reference, I did want to show you 9.2.1. This is 9.2.1, 2563, 4468, and then it goes to 2548. So it's a little less than 9.2.1, but still pretty good scores. The biggest difference is the animations and how smooth this thing is. It is definitely noticeable. iPhone 6S Plus, this is before 2351, and this is after. So a little bit of improvement here as well. Actually, a lot more noticeable than before. Definitely huge improvement here. So let's talk about some bugs and issues and whether or not they've been fixed. If I rotate sideways, it still is here. This is unbelievable. That laggy as heck animation is still present in the latest beta 7. How this still is here, it doesn't make any sense to me really. So I was a little surprised to find this here. This is one of my biggest gripes with 9.2.1 is the fact that when you rotate your phone, you go back to the stone age with animations. Is that new speeding up glitch still present in 9.3 beta 7? I'm gonna go ahead and try and get it working and report back in just a second here. And indeed it is. So just to verify, I will show you, I am on the latest build number right there. Boom, no animations. It still works just like it should. So that's great. <laughs> that little bug that's turned out to be quite useful is still in the latest beta. Now, I was curious, did Apple patch the bypass in iOS 9.2.1, 9.3 earlier betas? Indeed they have. In beta seven, it is now gone. So I'm gonna show you how I did it and uh, how this bypass works. So 9.2.1, boom. This is how you would get into photos. Just slide up and jump into clock and you'd be in the photos. You could be in the contacts either way. Let me show you how this was done and that it no longer works on the newest beta seven. So whenever going into clock from within the phone, you have to be within the phone. So you pretty much have to do this, go to world clock, type in anything up here, double tap, share message, type in any random letters, click enter, click on this guy, create new contact, photos, choose photo. Now, you can even leave and go back to the home screen. When you click to lock, there's bleed through. So you can jump right into that section you were exploring just using that. And that's been fixed in this latest beta because you can no longer go into here and type in anything and have the share settings appear. They just don't appear 
So uh, all it is is select all and that's it. No more. So that bypass is gone. So there you have it guys. Thanks for stopping by for this iOS 9.3 beta 7 update. Mostly bug fixes. There is an official change log, but really nothing new added in this version. All we can expect is just stability fixes and speed improvements until the final release in about a week now on March 21st. That's the expected release date. So stay tuned for any news. I'll have a final speed test soon, as soon as that drops, but what a great update, guys. If you wanna see the features, be sure to check out the full 9.3 review where I list everything. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy this latest beta if you're on it. Peace.